Welcome. In this video, we will provide you with a brief overview of the Curator Live platform. We'll guide you through the dashboard, tools, and device management, as well as show you how to access features like the designer. This will equip you with everything you need to know before you start setting up your event. Let's start by logging into Curator. Click the login button on the login form or create an account by clicking on create account. Upon logging in, you are immediately directed to your dashboard. This dashboard displays your current events, past events, and any archived events you may have. You'll find that each event provides details such as the event name, number of photos, the start and end dates, and the event code, which is useful for any support inquiries. Additionally, each event offers actions like editing, viewing photos, duplicating, archiving, and accessing analytics. You will also see links at the top of the page for your tools page, devices page, assets page, as well as marketing. Let's do an overview of each of these, and then we can dive into creating an event. Click on the tools page in the navigation bar. The tools page gives you access to your subscription details, device licenses, and optional features like purchasing a vanity URL. Scroll down on the page. You'll also find integrations with Booth Motion, Dropbox, and Twilio. You also have options to add or remove subusers, such as your team members at the bottom of the page. Let's head over to the Devices page. Your device page shows all devices connected through the Curator Live app. For each device, you'll see its name, model, event code, iOS version, app version, and last active time. It also displays how many photos and videos are saved or still pending upload, this is your queue. Storage status is also shown, and we recommend keeping at least 5GB free to avoid data loss. If a device is deleted, it won't upload media until it's reconnected by logging out and back in. Let's move on to the next page which is the Assets page. When you arrive at the Assets page, you'll see a drop-down menu on the right-hand side. It defaults to Props, and you can click on it to explore more options. This list of options enables you to create, edit, and manage assets for your photo and video projects. These assets include attract screens, overlay templates, buttons, backgrounds, and more. While you don't need to take any action on this page, Think of it as an empty filing cabinet where you can design and organize before building an event. All these options are also available on the event form. For instance, if you decide to create an overlay, you can click on it and use the Curator Designer to craft and design your overlay. This image editor appears when you select an asset, enabling you to design it to your liking. For instance, when creating an overlay, you can adjust the size, add text, incorporate background images, and include various design elements. This tool is versatile and can be used to meet all your design needs for both photo and video projects. Let's dive into setting up a new event. Simply click the dashboard button located at the top of the page. To get started, simply click the create event button on this page. We'll guide you through the process in our next video, how to create an event on the Curator Live platform.